are you? Uh -uh. Who are me? You will soon know who are me. Wait, aren't you the one that came with Iyarim on the other day? You can't just walk in here and sit down. Uh, who are you looking for? My husband. The one you are thief from me. Who is that? Uh -uh. Sorry, Ray Open. Mm. Are you having scorn scorn in your head? How many husbands you have? How many husbands you have? It is his own now. The husband you thief from me. Eh? You thief him me. That useless man who have promised to marry me and he just go and bring you from somewhere. Madam, I don't know what you're talking about. You will know, you know. You will know him what I'm talking about. Eh? Since we were small. Isawuru I promised to marry me. Everyone in this village have known us together. Then, we have go everywhere, go everywhere together. They have called us Okwatiyawu. I know you have used something for him. I know you use something for him. And anything that you use for him, back to sender. Amen. Back to sender. Amen. Back to sender. Amen. Send Amen. 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 Madam, <coughs> as you can see, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was about to cook. So if you could please excuse me. Hey! Because of Isawuru, I says all my sisters away. Eh? Nobody will marry me now. I understand your plight. I wish I could help you, but my hands are tied. Lisi, on go me run. Ah ah. Who tie? Who tie your hand? What are tie it? Hey. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Say you could know you don't have body. If I put you under me like this and sit on top of you, nobody will hear you. You will be shouting, shouting, nobody can hear you. All they will be hearing is your bone that is doing cream, cream, cream. And nobody will come and save you. Are you threatening me? I me threat you. I me threat you. Are they being paid? The commander in chief Benny. of all the Ashoke okay, weavers in the order of this village. Benny. I may threat you. <laughs> I not threat you. I not threat you at all. Benny. I promise you. Eh? If you don't leave Ishawuru for me, eh? I will carry you like this, eh? I will break you, eh? Mogum, I am on you. I am on you very, very well. And you threat me. Eh? I not treat you. Go and ask from me. Let's go. And I am promising you. You hear? Our wife, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to light the fire. No, 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 Jare. Ah, no, Jare. Hmm? This is how you do it now. Eh? Eh? Hmm. Hey, see, my wife. Hmm? Do like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you see? Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> Angelica, what are you doing? I'm, I'm cooking. The fire burns so fast. The fire will burn so fast now. Look at the way you did it. By the way, what are you cooking? Soup. What soup? Um, a goosey soup. A goosey soup? Yes. <laughs> what a perfect timing. That's why I got you this bush meat. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh -uh. This is called eroya. This is a perfect blend for the egosi soup. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, never mind. I will teach you how to prepare it. Eh? It's very easy. Do you like? 
my kid. Oh, it's nice. Lara, this is the first place we came on our date, remember? We had so much fun in the corner, we didn't want to go home. Um, oh. <sighs> you forgot. Do you love me? You don't know. Watch this. <laughs> you do that? I'm sorry, Ma. I thought you wanted to watch your program. No, 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 no. It's fine. You got here first, so let's watch what you were watching, okay? So, what were you watching? Cars 2! Really? Tell me about it. Cars 2 is about a town that has only cars, the trucks, and all sorts of cool cars. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hi. Hey. How's my favorite girl doing? Thank you. Look what I found. Wow. wow. City of Lagos Monopoly. Oh, that is so cool. 35, 2012. Hasbro. Nice. <laughs> Let's see. Can Maybe. we play? Of course. That's why I got it. <laughs> nice. How cool is that? Just Little like the princess. old one, just in a Lagos form. Yeah, nice. Well, I think I've been there before. Where's that? Here. I think I've been here before too. Where's that? That's a theater. Oh, nice. But it's just like a city. It won't have the money. Thank you, ma. Oh, yeah, good. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Baby. Thank you. Bye bye. I could show. <laughs> How 
Yes. Oh, I thought we had lost you. I cried my eyes sore when I heard. Yeah, so let's see. Hmm. You look good though. Hmm. Uh, almost the same. Almost the same. A little bit skinnier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to add um, a little flesh. Mm. Don't mind, Ada. She's always advocating for more flesh. Not everybody can be full budded like you. By the way, we're finally getting the house. Oh. <laughs> Yes. No. Bill introduced us to our savings and we qualified for the mortgage. Mm. They are at the final stages. Wow. Congrats, sweetie. Thank Congrats. We're all celebrating. Mm. Mm. Lara, dear, are you okay? You're not saying anything. Um, I don't know what to say. <sighs> mm. I mean, you sound like fun girls. Oh, oh yeah, we are fun girls. <laughs> I don't know you. What? You don't know us? Oh, oh, oh. Remember? Bill said she might not remember us. Oh. Lara, dear, we're your friends. Mm -hmm. At Desi and, and Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> We've been friends forever. Forever. <laughs> cool and all you know <laughs> and we do everything together we even go take trips around the world together yeah. <laughs> remember how can you say you can't remember remember milan your favorite shopping destination mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> oh and that cute, cute restaurant on rue the Forest. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh remember that bar in turkey oh my god oh got she drunk. got drunk oh, got oh yeah she did <laughs> oh, she oh no you got drunk yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can't say you don't remember La Plage. Oh, drop it, Wendy. <laughs> she can't remember. She has amnesia. Mm. <laughs> Meeting Finis. Mm. The. You are not hearing word, Abby. Eh? Say you say you are not hearing word. Where are you go? Where are you go? Where are you go? Where are you, eh? Where are you go? Where are you go? Eh? You think you can fight? Eh? You think you can fight? Eh? C -c 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 Come here. Come here. Knee down. Knee down here. Knee down. Knee down. I said you should knee down. Knee down. Eh? See, I did not tell you I will sit on you. See, I did not tell you I will sit on you. See, I have not even sit on you. I am only bending on you. You are, you are breaking. Can you hear the bone? Can you hear the bone? <laughs> sit down, dear. Sit down, dear. Eh? So am I just you now? Am I just you now? Did I not tell you? Am I just you? Am I just you? Sorry, mommy, sorry. Don't fight again. Sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy. 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 Kulubu, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Kulubu, 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 kulubu. <laughs> ah, ah, what is wrong with you now? But I did not stay for long, eh? Ah, ah. Is it not that you're fat, Bingpe? Bingpe? What about Bingpe? When you left me by the stream and I was coming back home, that fat fool accosted me and sat on me. Bingpe sat on you? Yes. Ah, ah. Bingpe sat on you and you are still alive? If not for some men that, that came and rescued me, I would not even be sitting down here now. Ah, Bingpe, is it by force to get married to me in this village? Is it by force? Bingpe? Bingpe sat on you. Bingpe sat on okay, me. Okay, she will just kill me today. Where are you going? She will kill you. Come back. Oh. <laughs> Bingpe? Ah, it's a wuru. Bingpe, I want you to leave my wife alone. This one that, uh, the two of you are where? Uh, and co. Are you going to party me? I don't want to have anything to do with you. Leave my wife. Ah, uh, where's wife? Who? Eh? Leave my wife alone. Leave my wife alone. You are not the same of yourself. Useless man. It doesn't seem to know you. I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you that I don't, I don't even know her, yes? But I want to know her. Uh. This is the kind of woman I want to know in my life. I do not want to know anything about you. Leave this woman alone before I unleash my hand. Unleash what? Unleash my hand. Unleash what? Unleash. And this what? You think you are the only one that can on this? Me too, I will on this now, that's on you. Huh? In fact, I want to on this now. Big I bear. want to on this Big now. Sebi, you want to on this now? 
Shabu, come on. Come on. This, what are you doing? This is on you. And we are on this on her too. And you are lucky. You are lucky that I haven't eaten. You are very, very lucky. Wait, let me cook for you. Wait, let me cook for you. Come now. Come. Let me cook for you. You will eat before we beat you. Oh, Lord, you are the Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My friends came here today. A Daisy and Wendy. Oh. I couldn't connect with them. They were kind of stuck up. <laughs> Very uppity. Was I like that? <clears throat> well, what did you love about me? It seems to me I was pretty difficult to live with. Well, you know, everyone has his good and bad points. But um, I just think it was part of your upbringing. Your parents made their sons rest in peace. Well, they were kind of like that, and it made pretty much sense that their only daughter will be like that. But I fell in love with your your zeal for life and your strength of character. Tell me, who do you love more? The old me or the new me? Let's hold on a second and pick this call. Hello, sir. Definitely. We have a delivery in a week. Yes, sir. No problem at all. Thank you very much. You too. Okay, good night. You know... Your new self is fresh, sweet, playful, shy. There's a certain kind of shyness about you that I find very endearing. It was like that of a little girl. Gives me this overwhelming urge to kind of protect you. Makes me feel like a hero when I'm around you. You know. And that's different. Which is different. Everything about you is different. Even physically. But I, I like different. I definitely like different. I don't want it to ever change. tonight of course <laughs> Time. 
Still live the mighty McWolf. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elliot's office. I'm fine. Who am I speaking with, please? Oh, Mrs. Elliot. He's he's in a meeting right now. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to take you to different places in this place. Six different places. It's my treat. I brought you here. Well, fine. Leave that to me. I'm going to make you have so much fun today. Mm -hmm. the smell of cigarettes? I, uh, I don't know. I, well, this is the first time. So. I definitely didn't look like your first time. You drugged it in smoke. I didn't say it was my first time ever. I said, it's my first time since after the accident. I, um, I guess it's because we're out and, you know, it's a bar and, I, I used to smoke a very long time ago, and in another life. In another life? Yeah. Hey, hey. Look, so many things have changed since the accident. It's... Your body... Look, you're smoking! Sometimes I feel you're a completely different person. A completely different after the accident. Your mannerisms, your actions, even your body has changed. Excuse me sometimes, but well, well, I like it fine. It's beautiful. I love it. Hmm. You know, I'm just scared of one morning and you're back to your old self, you know? Oh. And I don't want that to happen. I'm never going to change. <laughs> Come on, smoke. Let me see. No, it's fine. No, I want to see you smoke. No, I, no, I, I want to see you smoke.
you. You've been so kind and so loving since after the accident. Life as I know it now is a thing of beauty. Everything is perfect. Mm. Too perfect. But that's good. There is something I must tell you. I am. What's that? Uh. What's wrong, honey? <clears throat> You look like you've seen a ghost. I, I, I just had this weird sensation. Why don't you drink something? No, I don't. I just want to go home. But why? Why? What's wrong? You, you feel like throwing up? Yes, yes, yes. Yes? But, but wait up. Come on, let's go. Okay. Come on. What do you feel like you feel like throwing up? Yeah. There you go. All right. Come on, honey. Lara, I'd like you to see the doctor. I'll be fine. Don't worry, honey. Look, I nearly lost you once. I don't want to experience that again, do you understand? Do you know how that felt? Nothing will happen to me. We'll be fine. All right. What was it you were going to tell me when we were eating? It sounded very important. I just wanted to tell you that no matter what happens to us, always remember that I loved you with all my being. Is that what you want to say? Whether you said it yourself, nothing will happen. Come on, let's sleep. The governor brought us into this committee to fish out the oil bunkers. We have to do <coughs> that is the list. I don't have it. It's in my um, little in charge. Little in charge. Little in charge. Little in charge. Yes. Oh yes. I save all of my important documents in your Dropbox. Oh. I call it um, my little insurance. Ah. Yes. So you pay insurance fees. I'll pay insurance fees. Yes, now. Are you serious <laughs> about that? Yes. You must <laughs> say yes. I will pay insurance fees. <laughs> I work in an oil firm. Mm -hmm. I own my own home and a couple of cars to go with. I take trips all around the world often. The people of Iwaji wow. County of Ikiti State have come out in mass to show support for the war. I knew that would get your attention. This so, coming at the of did you say we cut this and uh, get out? Support Do you mind? The governor and his effort to increase the tourism in the state. This have come out to support his effort, which has helped to increase businesses in the state because of the great influx of tourism. Oh, no. This particular group is headed by the trado medical doctor, Ishawuru, who says that he has been blessed beyond measures by the numbers of visitors in their area. He then thanks the governor, saying, This forest is a source of livelihood for one of us in this Hello, Mrs. Elliot. I trust you've been well. 
I'm fine, ma'am. Uh, where are you? Uh, no, I just wanted to let you know that everything is set for the cocktail party, so you need not worry. Yes, ma'am. You're always welcome. Um, are you a twin? <laughs> no reason, just that uh, you're so amazing and uh, you're a twin. My brother would have married you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mm. You too. Good night. You too. Um, hold on. Yeah? See that? Yes. <laughs> I know, sir. Good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. To where? Uh, For our house? Yeah. I know, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you don't too far with my... See that? Yes. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> so, you understand what I'm saying now? Mm? When we get there... <laughs> See. I know you. <laughs> Mrs. Elliot. <laughs> what are you doing here? What am I doing here? the most insane thing I've ever witnessed. You know, I knew something wasn't quite right with the new Mrs. Elliot. My God. This is not happening. She was just so different from you. I have to go back. I have to go back. What am I doing? I don't need this stuff. <laughs> Angelica, what is going on here? You're a liar. What are you talking about? You lied to me. What? Oh, I'll get you arrested. Angelica, you slap me again. I'll slap you again. Angelica, let's go. Who are you? Angelica, come here. Oh, leave me alone. Angelica! Angelica! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, uh, Angelica! Angelica! Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. Okay, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Please, please be seated. Be seated. Now, we all know why we're here tonight. And that's to celebrate a fine man. A man that's worthy of emulation. A man that's a true Nigerian. Now, we're honoring that man because he's made partner. So I would like to personally welcome my friend, William Elliot, who is popularly known as Bill, as he joins the Big Boy League. So, Bill, please come up here, say a few words to these lovely people. Thank you very much, Ike. <clears throat> well, if you ask Ike, he'll tell you I am a man of many words. I talk a lot. But for some funny reason, uh, I'm speechless. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming, especially the partners. Mr. Folayon, thank you so much for coming. I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> it's been a tough journey. I worked hard to get here. But that journey was never complete without my wife. Honey, come up. She stood beside me through thick and thin, never left my hands. She's a pillar of strength. If I had to get married a thousand times, 
Honey, I will choose you a thousand times. Bill. standing beside you. Honey! I can't explain. It was an honest mistake. Shut up, whore! Can someone please tell me exactly what is happening? So Do you know her? Huh? I'm so sorry, honey. I mean, Bill. I... I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm so sorry. What is happening? Huh? You did steal my husband and my life. How dare you? What kind of human being does that? You are a disgrace. You thief. Cheap prostitute. Give him my ring. Please don't tell the kids. I don't want to drag them into all this mess. You mean they're still in our house? Yes. And they're legally ours too. You abducted them. It wasn't me, Bill. It was the ring I bought for you that made me. I knew deep down in my heart there was something wrong. Thank God. All this time. Living with a total stranger. You were sleeping with her, weren't you? We used to walk together. You know, as I said, I... I really don't want the kids to know about this. They are very stable now. I can't believe this. My heart is beating so fast. I feels like it feels like you know, I'm in a different world. So you expect me to believe you actually thought she was me? We don't even look alike. Oh, dear. It's so 
good to see you girls. <laughs> of course. This is Laura, dear. Wonders shall never end. My dear. <laughs> this is a story of the decade. It's all over the internet. All over. Oh. And all the blogs have different versions of this, mm -hmm. including the National Dailies. Oh dear. What baffles me though is Bill's part in all of this. Like, what man cannot tell his wife from another woman? Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and girl, that girl was nothing like you. Mm. Let's thank God. <laughs> no, you watched the report. <laughs> 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 oh, if not, you'd still be in that. Ooh. Bush. Oh no. It was not a bush. Oh, it was actually really beautiful and peaceful there. I kind of miss my life there sometimes. Noya was not a bad person after all. Mm. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute. What if Bill was in on this whole thing? How could you even say that? My husband said they were so in love. Oh, please. Their relationship was different. Oh, girl, you're tripping. Hmm. Well, I think that Bill just thought you guys had a new lease on life. And... <sighs> please. He thought... He lost you once please. before. Exactly. Hmm. Well, my thought. <laughs> oh, girls, I just feel so out of sorts. Oh, dear, dear. Oh. Come to my office. Why didn't you come to me first when you realized Lara was in that village? I wasn't sure, sir, and I didn't want to alarm you unnecessarily. You didn't want to alarm me unnecessarily? So how you handled it was the best way? By making the whole world hear about it? That wasn't my fault, sir. Your wife charged me not to tell anyone, said she wants to handle it her own way. I had to back off. I'm taking a week off next week. Clear my schedule. No, I know the press wants to talk to you. Under no circumstance will you talk to the press. Am I in any way unclear? Yes, I, no, no. Am I in any way I unclear? I understand you very clear, sir. Thank you very much. Good evening. Please, why are you here? I'm here to see Angelica. Angelica. You don't have anyone by that name here. Uh, this is a place, girl. Angelica, I got a proper description. Madam. Ah, that's Angelica now. It's our room. Angelica. Ah. It has been difficult to live without you. It's our room. What are you doing here? How did you find me? The story is actually everywhere. Even the saloon that I went to uh, cut my hair and look good for you, they, they are aware of the story. What do you want? You should be happy I didn't even get you arrested. Of course I'm happy. But uh, if you ask me what I want, I will tell you. I have come to take you back home. Are you out of your mind? Back home to where? Angelica, let's not deceive ourselves. I love you and I know you love me. <laughs> you need to come back with me to the village. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I brought you your favorite bushmeat. <laughs> the very favorite one that, that uh, lap part that you like. <laughs> it's our room. My life is here. I've looked around. There's no life here for you. It's our room. I can't go anywhere with you. This is where I belong. Do you understand? You have to come back to the village, yo. I can't. With the tempo of your voice, I mean, it's a simple understanding of the fact that your mind is with me. So you have to come with me. I'm sorry, Shaoru, but I can't. 
that is not the kind of word you use in here. You use the word that will favor my emotions. You have to go, please. Come on. You see, I miss this your tender touch. It shall but work. The way you are touching me, you are touching me. You to have to me. go, please. How else? How else do we define love again? This is love now. I'm so eh? sorry. If you are moving me because you are coming with me, it's okay. But if you are moving me to send me out of here, I'm not leaving you. I'm sorry, you have to go. Angelica, is it Jaro that you are pushing you? I'm so sorry. Angelica. My dear Bill, by the time you read this, I'll be back in Ikiti. What can I say? The accident changed me in so many ways. The things that meant a lot to me don't mean so much anymore. The peace I had in Ikiti is what I crave now more than anything. The simplicity of my life there is what is taking me back. <laughs> Even before the accident, our marriage wasn't worth much. We couldn't admit it, but we weren't happy anymore. I know you were miserable with me, and I want to take you away from your misery. I hope you find happiness. Take care. Lara. Baba Tunde. It's Saul. I told you that I'm better than you in all ramifications. I will prove to you that I was the one who trained you this game when you came from the city. <laughs> Angelica. Hey. Angelica. 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 Oh, yeah, me. Angelica, you came back. Uh, Angelica. Cabo, you are welcome. Angelica, you came back. How long? Angelica, you came back. You came back. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Angelica, me, you can't have a little. Angelica, you came back. Ah. I'm back. I must have been very good to you. <laughs> huh? Things have to change around here. We have to turn the business around. You have so much potential. Yes, I know. We have to build a new house. Everything has to be different. Angelica. Angelica. The change starts now. <laughs> <laughs> The question in everyone's mind is this. How could you not tell that wasn't your wife? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> No, well, this is the most incredibly unusual story, and any time I think of... Look, I saw the differences. I saw the changes. But there were explanations to those changes. Her body was different, but she was, she was in the hospital for a while. It had to be different. She sounded a bit different because, well, the car was burnt. 
anything could have happened. The, the smoke could have damaged some of her voice or something. She, or her character, her character was different. But then she had been through a near-death experience. She had to be different. You mentioned her character. Please tell us a little bit more about her character. What was the difference? Oh, she was completely different from my first wife, my real wife. She was sweet, loving, she was caring, adorable. Are you still in love with her? She's a liar and an imposter. She made me look stupid. And you know, I mean, I don't know. Have you ever thought about forgiving her? Perhaps she had genuine reasons why she decided to live that lie. And let's not forget, it was thrust upon her. Okay, I know. She, she didn't have any hand in the facial reconstruction. She knew nothing about it. But then she had so many chances to tell me that she wasn't my wife. But she deliberately deceived me and, and claimed amnesia. She made me believe she had lost her memory. Now that is totally unacceptable. So it's safe to say that you have not had any contact with her since after that party where she was exposed? No. Hmm. So you really have not heard her side of the story, have you? No, I haven't. Did you hear about this? It made major headlines for weeks. Oh, yeah, of course. I know this news. Um, well, the victim's fiancé witnessed the murder, and then she reports to the police and gives evidence to back her claims. Of course. Well, I, I personally thought she was really brave. I'm actually glad to hear you say that, because that brave fiancé is no other than Fisayo, the woman that you knew as Lara. What? You're joking. No, I am not. The day of the accident was the day she witnessed her fiancé's murder. She was actually fleeing from the murderers who wanted her life. So the question now is, can you find it in your heart to forgive her? Any last words? I... You... And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call exposing the truth. That is our time, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank our special guest, Mr. Bill Elliott. I'm your host, Tom Kane. Before I leave, let me tell you, if you are hiding the truth, it will be exposed right here on Exposing the Truth. Sleep well. Oh, I have. Mr. Elliott. Yes. Would you like something to drink? You, you know what? I can explain. The day of the accident, I just witnessed the murder of my fiancé. And my life was in danger. I was running away from the shooters when we had the accident. When I came to and realized my face was different, I was initially devastated. But, but then I thought the shooters would never find me. I meant to tell you before I fell hopelessly in love with you. Every day was a struggle. I couldn't imagine life without you. I was wrong. I know. And I am sorry. Why didn't you just tell me? I'm so sorry. I never stopped loving you. Kids miss you. It's been so different since you left. I miss them too. I stay up most nights thinking about what I lost. Hey. Can we do this all over again? Can we? Yes. Yes. Oh. There's something I must tell you. 
I took something that belongs to you when I left. What's that? It's changed, I swear, Samon. She was my consolation. At least I had something that belongs to you that no one could take away from me. Oh, 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 oh. Let's, let's make it official. Fasayo, she married me. Yes. Yes. Reality. 